regenerative agriculture. I've been hearing a lot about it. Um, something that uh, you know we've been thinking about and trying different experiments. What do you guys think? For the experiment, I mean, we want to see uh, an improvement in our soil, improvement in our yes. crops, and improvement in what we can generate from it, and the knowledge that we learn. Up on it. All right. You know, one of the things that I've been thinking about is how to manage this part of the field differently than this part of the field, which is obviously much more productive. What, what do you see when you see this topography? Yeah, these look like opportunity zones, I suppose. The thing to do, in my mind, would be to square off the areas that are have a different productivity level, so up here, more mm -hmm. productive. I would use perennials to create a square border, an easy to manage border for you, give yourself some turn room away mm -hmm. from these trees. Look at that, we got some nice earthworms. Look at that, that's nice. And so for you on, on your farm, and when we think of regenerative agriculture, and this all comes with labeling things, right? As we think of a reduction of inputs and managing the system in a different way, what does it mean to you on your farm? Is it is it reducing your inputs or the way you manage it, or is it just a shift? I would call it an evolution of the way that we farm. We're always trying to farm in a way that is more efficient and uh, less impactful uh, on the environment. and. When I think about things like variable rate seeding, variable rate fertilizer, all those precision related things, I get excited about that because it's bringing more innovation to agriculture. It's bringing more knowledge to agriculture. <laughs>